Hey, hey, YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is LaDonna. I am a homeschooling mom, and on my channel, I just like to share what we're learning, how we're growing, and what God is doing in our lives. Okay, I am finally back, and I have missed all of you terribly. Just a really quick church camp update. Last week was amazing, but it was also exhausting. When I tell you our schedule was jam-packed, we went from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night for five straight days. It was crazy. However, God was good. God was faithful. He met us there. He worked in our lives individually and even as a group. And I'm just so thankful we were able to go. So now we're home. We're trying to recover. And every day gets a little bit better. So I wanted to go ahead, get this video filmed, get it posted for Tuesday with hopes. <laughs> that I can get back on my video routine. Okay, just a quick disclaimer, this right here is the diffuser. I do not have any special uh, smoke effects or fog effects for this video. I had it up here and it just looked really funny. I've got it down here. Um, so anyway, if you're wondering what that is, it is the diffuser. Um, and then also my neck, I had to like put all kind of like oil stuff on my neck and I've got a loose shirt on and so if I look really funny that's what it is. We have like a air advisory today and we've had an air advisory for the last few days and basically what I'm understanding it to be is that the air quality is not that great. So um, I've already had uh, wicked allergies so I'm like trying to double up and you know, keep us all healthy because Lord willing, we want to start school in two weeks. Now, for those of you who've been around here, you've heard me say that I wanted to start school next week. However, I really do think I'm going to put it off a week because I have a few more things I have to get done. So anyway, that was a really long introduction. What is the purpose of today's video? I really want to share with you my homeschool prayers for the 2021-2022 school year. I know a lot of of people like to put out their homeschool goals or their homeschool theme or their homeschool word or their homeschool you know fill in the blank whatever it is I think all of those things are amazing and I think that they're great but honestly I'm just I'm just not that kind of gal I always start my new year with a verse it is my anchor it is my foundation and that's exactly how I started our school year last year I had some verses that the Lord put on my heart and they were our foundation so as I started praying for this upcoming school year I just kept asking the Lord over and over Lord what is it that you want me to focus on in prayer for this upcoming school year how can I build off of what you've already done in our lives and over the summer I spent time in the book of Colossians. So I have some verses from the book of Colossians as well as Philippians. I am going to share them with you, but before I do, I just want you to know how I use them. And basically this is my prayer guide for our school year. But this is my prayer guide for my children specifically when it comes to our home school. So what are our verses? I have them written down right here in my planner. So the first two come from Colossians chapter 2. They are verses 2 and 3. And it says that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So those are our first two verses. Our second two verses come from Colossians 3, and they are verse 15 and 16. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you were indeed called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Do you see a theme here? Okay, the last verse comes from Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. And God put this on my heart 
at camp, and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. But it says, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. So I just kind of want to talk about that one from from Philippians for a moment. So the, the short of it is, I just want the Lord to finish what he has started in both of my children. If you're new here, we started homeschooling because of the pandemic. In March of 2020, God started calling us to homeschool and we surrendered to that. Uh, I would love to sit here and tell you that it's something we've been doing from the beginning. I would love to paint this beautiful picture for you. However, I do not have that. I am a mom with a genuine desire to love my kids and to serve my kids and to point them to the Lord. And at this point in our journey and in our story, this is where he has us. And I believe it is his best for us. So my purpose in homeschooling is not to perfect a philosophy or to get a schedule right or to have the best curriculum out there. Truly, my heart's desire is number one, to be obedient to the Lord, but also it's to disciple my children y'all that's why I'm here I want to point them to the Lord I want their eyes to be opened to the wonders and marvels of God's love it's why I'm here and that's what I use to just kind of guide my prayers for the verses for our upcoming school year and this is what God has put on our hearts and I love it so much especially the first few in Colossians in Colossians chapter 2 verse 2 when it says that their hearts may be encouraged I just want to encourage my kids I want to encourage them in all things I also want my children to be knit together in love I want them to be knit together individually but also just as siblings um, I want them to I want them to reach all the riches a full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery which is Christ I want them to know Jesus Christ I want their eyes to be open my son has made a profession of faith my daughter has not yet and that's something that we're praying for and we're believing God for and I also want them to know that in Jesus um, are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I want them to know that no matter where they go in life, where they end up, all of the treasures of knowledge and wisdom are hidden in Christ. And I want them to seek Him above and before anything else. Verses uh, 15 and 16 from chapter 3, it says, And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. I want the peace of Christ to rule in their hearts. Y'all, I struggle with anxiety. Um, I've seen it in both of my children, and I just... I want them to know that there is peace and that peace is found in Jesus Christ. And I also want that to be what rules in their hearts, not, you know, their selfish ambitions or their selfish desires or, you know, w whatever it is the enemy tries to, um, you know, distract us with. I want his peace to rule in their hearts. Uh, it goes on to say, to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful I want my kiddos to be thankful. I, I believe that is the desire of every mama's heart is that their children would be thankful. And, and it is something I am really praying for this year. Uh, verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. I want the word of Christ to dwell in them richly. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how else to express it. But that truly is the desire of my heart. And it is central to our homeschool. The word of Christ. Teaching and, and admonishing one another in all wisdom. Singing songs and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Can you see a theme there? Just the thankfulness. And my prayer is also is that that thankfulness will manifest itself in other ways. And of course, I already shared with you Philippians 1, 6, and basically that God will finish what he has started in both of my children, that he will finish what he has started in us, in our homeschool. You know, all we can do is bring what we have before the Lord. And this is what I have. I have faith and I have hope and I have a willingness to love them and to serve them and to give them my best before anything else. And my prayer is that God will use it in ways that I can't even think of and that he'll just multiply it and that this season of our life will mark them forever. I hope that that's clear. I hope that that makes sense.
sense, but this is my prayer for the 2021-2022 school year. It may seem really simple and short. However, I believe that it's beauty that can come from the simplicity. So these are my prayers. This is our guide. This is where you will be able to find me this coming school year. Please share with me in the comments below what your prayers are, or your goals, or your theme, or your word, whatever your compass is for this upcoming school year. Please tell me about it below in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.